good job this boy Ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the undertaker thought mick foley was dead on uh hot boxing with mike tyson uh his uh podcast i think this is one of his uh clips channels um i know i think i checked out an interview uh the undertaker had with uh on Tony uh, Tony Hawk's podcast, and uh, some of you guys were mentioning I needed to check uh, some clips out from this uh, this podcast as well. Um, Mike Tyson, goaded legend of boxing, The Undertaker, the legend of wrestling. So the fact that uh, he thought the under uh, that Mick Foley was uh, was uh, dead, he's referencing obviously the the hell in a cell match the infamous hell in a cell match they had we definitely got to check this out uh appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel man i'm looking forward to this one this should be a good one let's do it hearing about another what another five, hearing about another what another five minutes <clears throat> is just uh he almost didn't get up from that one was bad, but the next one is really bad. And what I guess they're watching it right now. Jump, I'm gonna take this leap. Like, how do you guys practice that? Like, you he gotta, don't. Like, he had never. He had, had had never been up there on top of that that cell. Why does he do uh, it like this? So his mentality on this thing was: so I'd had the first Hell in a Cell match with mm -hmm. um, with Shawn Michaels, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was good. It was it was violent, and it was everything that the Hell in a Cell match was supposed to be. Mm. Yep, and then. This would have this would have been the second one, and Mick was afraid that we wouldn't be able to deliver as good. A Shout out to Mick, bro. He did a spot that he had never done before. He knew if we're gonna make this thing something special, you guys did the first Hell in a Cell something special. If we're doing Hell in a Cell too, I don't want it to fall down in like uh, a situation where it wasn't as good as the first. I want people to always talk about this. Mick came in that mindset. With that mindset, people are going to always talk about this. Hence, people are always talking about this particular Hell in a Cell, bro. The match is, is the first one. Which is crazy. So he had it in his head <clears throat> that he wanted to give them, if he said, we can almost smoke and mirror people into thinking that they've seen something really, you know, incredible. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what he uh, decided we needed to do. So when you threw him off, like, do you tell, like, are y'all talking? Like, do you tell him? Like, you tell him like, I'm throwing your ass off. He was like, all right, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, yeah, was like, yeah, good luck, bro. <laughs> 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 like, like, like in that moment, like there's no thinking because you're just, uh, you're just going, right? Yeah, you're just going. I, I tell people that, I tell people this, uh, this is, this Did he is, tell you, throw me over? Yeah. <laughs> Don't me over. I knew I was throwing him over. When I got over to the edge, I was like, I, I hope he hits that table. Cause <laughs> oh, my God. That concrete's going to be a... Whoa. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. Oh, that concrete. I forgot all about uh, that. Yeah. It's, oh, oh that's my crazy, God, man. Bro. What do you think? It's the fact that <laughs> he took that bump, bro. And there's, there's no crash pad, ladies and gents. That's just the breakaway table floor. That's it. I know you guys remember the recent Hell in a Cell with uh, The Undertaker and uh, Shane McMahon. Even though that was a high drop, there was a crash pad. Like, there was like a, 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 like a, a little crash pad under it, like an inflatable crash pad under the table. So when he hit, you know what I'm saying, it, he, it, it, it stopped some of the momentum, which... I'm all for, you know, you want to make sure that the, the performance is safe. But this, no crash pad, no no airbag under it. It's just strictly table, floor. You figure out the rest. Does this isn't dead? When I seen him move, I was like, okay, all right, he's 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 in Jesus. good shape. That's mm -hmm. concrete floor, bro. And just a second, like a little bit, like five minutes later in this match, mm -hmm. We get back up on this after I throw him. I throw him down. Uh -huh. He climbs back up. We continue fighting. Crazy, bro. And um, over here, yeah. he's yeah. climbing back up. Just, that's insane. That's after. Yeah, he's already. Yeah, I've already thrown him off once. That's amazing. That's incredible. He, he climbs back up. I he's, know he's, he's broken. He needs to go to the hospital, right? <laughs> no, he's he's about to. He broke his back. He's about to really need the hospital here. Mm -hmm. Just he needs him now. What do you mean he's gonna really need him? <laughs> Like he needs them now. He, you would have thought falling off from <laughs> that high up, he would have, you know, hitting the concrete with the table and the concrete floor. That would have 
required the X to be thrown and get some medical attention. No, it's the next spot that uh, requires some medical attention. He can't need them no, not any more than he needs them now. You cut his head off at the same right now. Look at this guy, man. This is, this is nuts. That's why he got so much respect. Oh man, so we're in slow motion. I was like, damn, I'm slow. And I didn't realize we were in slow motion there. This is oh, nasty. No, not, oh, not slow. Yeah. Dude. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Now he's out. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's out right now. I'm looking down, and honestly, in my eyes, I'm looking down at, 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 at a dead guy. Why would he? Do that wasn't that? supposed to happen. Mm -mm. The first one wasn't supposed to happen. That one, two more inches of rotation, he doesn't get up. What, what was the injury? So he... Jesus, man. I think he separated his shoulder. He got concussed. Jesus. Uh, broke man. his hip. Jesus. Um, he... This was... This, I guess this is just our morbid sense of humor. So we continue. He gets up from this. Again, he gets up. Just and we start wow. fighting again. And I'm so distracted... This is kind of gross. Like, he's got something in his nostril. That's his too. And I'm looking at him, and I'm punching him. I'm thinking, like, dude, Mick's got a big booger in his nose, right? <laughs> Come to find out it wasn't a Bo booger. It was his incisor. Tooth. Oh, my God. When he hit, his tooth went through his lip oh. and lodged in his nose. Oh, it, It's crazy. Okay. You, you got to go back and, when you have more time and look at this. Oh. There's, there's a point where he's sitting there That's and he's so bleeding crazy. and he's all beat up and he sticks his tongue through the hole in his lip. Oh. At this point, this is Terry yeah, Funk. Yeah, that's tooth. That's a tooth right there. Yeah, yeah you can see the tooth yeah. hanging out of his oh, nose. Hanging out of his nose. Oh right there. God. That's his tooth. Bro. And that's him sticking his tongue through his, through his lip. So that was the best part of his night, actually, was the table. That one, that one was really nasty. Bro, I... I, I... And the thing is, I know the story. Obviously, I you know we've we've heard about the story of the that that wasn't a booger, that was a tooth, you know. But just him going into detail from his perspective, and he's like, "Yo, what's going on?" He's fighting him, and then he realized that's his tooth. And it's crazy to think the the initial first spot wasn't the fall that did the damage. It's him hitting that canvas from that height. That was the one that did the damage and for him to still keep fighting this is why we refer to mick as <laughs> as uh as a, a, the, one of the goats himself he he really was the epitome of i'm going to put my body on the line because i want the people to always remember this and that was a crazy crazy moment so comment down below let me know man when you first for those who were old enough to remember watching this match if you got to see it live if you was there at the event what was your initial thoughts when you saw this when you saw this on television what was your thought like what was your mental capacity to be able to rationalize what you just saw did you think he was dead did you think this dude was immortal like what was your initial thoughts me as a kid when I saw this, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I just, I'm, I'm thinking this dude can't be killed. <laughs> that's, that's all I thought. I thought he couldn't be killed. It. And then of course, JR on commentary, making it seem like my man has just died. And then he keeps coming back. I just thought Mick Foley, mankind, he can't be killed. You can't kill him. He's, he's impossible to kill after watching this. And just reliving that, I was just like, yo, this he's on another level, man. I thought the dead man couldn't be killed. No, he can't be killed. <laughs> he is he is impossible to truly, you know, put down. So, but that was my initial thoughts. I want to get y'all opinions when you first originally watched the match. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing the channel road to 150k. And I'm still getting speedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.